everyone today we will be discussing one more example of conversion of regular expression to dfa sigma is 0 1 and we have designed a dfa for all strings not containing substring 1 0 1 what are the intuitions behind the design of this machine we will design the nfa for the regular expression 0 or 1 star 1 0 1 0 or 1 star why we are considering this 0 or 1 star is universal string followed by a substring 101 and then again a universal set 0 or 1 star. We will convert the NFA corresponding to this regular expression to the DFA for all strings having substring 101 and then we will take the complement. Now corresponding to the regular expression we have the NFA in which we have start state as Q0 and final state as QF and we have a loop of 0 and 1 on Q0 as well as on Q. Now, in order to ease the job, instead of Q0, Q1, Q2, we have given the state number 0, 1, 2 and 3. Here 3 is the final state, 0 is the start state, sigma is 0, 1. So, we have drawn the table corresponding to the given NFA. If we consider state number 0, on state number 0, corresponding to input 1, we have two moves. One is on 0, another is on 1. So we have a new state 0, 1 on state 0, except state 0, all other states don't have any new, new state. So we will add this new state 0, 1 in the table. Now corresponding to this new state, if we consider input 0, we get the output 0, 2 and corresponding to 1, we get the output 0, 1, 0, 1 is already considered as a state here. So, the new state which has been generated is 0, 2. Now, we will add that state to the table. Input 0, we get the output as 0 state and corresponding to 1, we get the output as 0, 1 and 3. A new state 0, 1, 3 is added. 0, 1, 3 on 0 gives us 0, 2, 3 and 0, 1, 3 on 1 gives us 0, 1, 3. Now, again, we have one more new state that is 0, 2, 3. We will add this state also in the table. 0, 2, 3 on 0 gives 0, 3. 0, 2, 3 on 1 gives 0, 1, 3. 0, 3 is the next new state which is added to the table. 0, 3 on 0 gives us 0, 3 and 0, 3 on 1 gives us 0, 1, 3. With both these states that is 0, 3 and 0, 1, 3 are already part of this table. So, we do not have any new state. So ultimately we get our final DFA. If we consider this DFA, it is pretty well clear that 1, 2, 3 state do not have any connection with the rest of the state. So these are redundant states and these can be excluded. So the final DFA which we get is given here on the left side and we have given the state number to all these inputs in order to ease the drawing. We have given state number 0 as A, D as state number 0, 1, C as 0, 2, D as 0, 1, 3, E as 0, 2, 3 and F as 0, 3. So this is the final DFA which we get for all strings having substring 1, 0, 1. In, in this case, A is the start state, D, E, F are final states. Why they are considered as final states? Because the final state was 3 and all the states which have 3 in their set are final states. So D, E, F have 3 and hence they are considered as final states. Next, we take the complement. So, we want to draw the DFA for strings not having substring 1, 0, 1. Complement means that we will convert all non-final states into final states and all final states into non-final states. So, this is how we get the final output. If we want, we can minimize the DFA. This is an optional step, but we can always consider this. Now, in order to minimize the DFA, we divide the entire DFA into two sets, set of final states and set of nine final states. Since we have three final states, A, B, C, they come under one category and we have three non-final states, D, E, F, they come into one category. Now, we consider A, B, C, that is set of final states on zero. We move to A, C, A, all three are part of same set. So there is no split. When we consider A, B, C on 1, we get B, D. Since D belongs to set of non-final states, whereas B belongs to set of final states, we will 
divide this into two parts AB and C. So C is split from here and now we have three sets AB, C and DEA. Now we consider AB as a common set. AB on 0 gives us AC which is again not part of same set. So we will again split this set AB into two parts that is A and B. Now we have four sets A, B, C and DEF. We consider DEF as a single state and we find DEF on 0 we get EFF which is going to the same set that is DEF itself and DEF on 1 gives us D on B so that means we can combine these all three states into a single state that is a D state. So the final output is that we have only four states A, B, C and D. This is the slide which gives the minimized DFA of the past three slides in a single slide. So this is the minimized DFA which we get as the final output. We have four states, three final and one non-final. If we look at this particular DFA thoroughly, we will identify that basically this state D is also redundant since there is no out move from this state, there is only in move from C and from itself. But we should retain this state in order to have a complete DFA that is corresponding to every input, there is exactly one output. So this is the final output which we get, which is a DFA for all strings not having substring 101. Thanks for watching.